All right, guys, so we are inside a home, and all I'm going to show you is the front door right now because I want to show you the outside first, but it's really loud with traffic and stuff, so I wanted to start this video inside. This is a, a brand new RNL home on our Newburn location. Uh, it's the Elite Modular. I'm going to call it the Elite Modular. Um, it has the name Elite from RNL, um, and it's a three bedroom, three bath home, so something we've never done. Uh, and this floor plan is amazing. Um, so I'm going to put a quick floor plan right here, uh, just so you get a full feel of the layout from above. I wanted to say, please give us a like, hit that red subscribe button, uh, click that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a brand new video and leave us a comment down below. We would really, really appreciate it. It would really, really help out our channel. Also, if you wanna follow me for a little bit more behind the scenes and a little bit what's going on with my life, I have started a business of my own, so I will leave that link down below as well. Um, I have my own YouTube channel and you can kind of follow what I'm doing there with with my own business. All right, so let's get right into this. All right, guys, so we are back with another video. As you can see right off the bat, this does not look like your typical modular. This is a three box modular. We have some beautiful dormers. We have this bump out right here. Again, like I said, this is a three bedroom, three bath house. So every bedroom has its own bathroom. If you have kids that like to fight over the bathroom, this is the house for you. <laughs> um, of course, stay to the end. We'll do pricing details at the end. Now, this is a full uh, two-story modular. We do have it upstairs that's unfinished, and uh, we will show that here in a minute. Uh, one thing about this is it has a porch on the front, and we have this beautiful porch out on the back that you could easily add on to or take steps down to a patio or just have all of your grilling and stuff up there. It is absolutely gorgeous. We will get to that in just a second. I'll uh, show you that from the other view. This is coming around the building. This is the back of the home. Of course, everything is customizable. If you don't like the siding, we can change that. If you don't like the color of something, we can change that on the inside. It's definitely customizable to everything that you would like. <clears throat> so coming around here, as you see, oh, let's go up a little bit. This one does have a, t a second story in it. Do have windows already installed up there. This is a beautiful house. I can't wait to get inside and show you what this house is. So let's go do that. All right, so coming in this beautiful house. Let's go take a look. I love this leaded glass window right here. Um, you do have a beautiful front door on this house. So this is coming into your main area, your main living room area. So right before we get into that, let me show you right here. You do have a little coat closet here that you can put some stuff in right by the front door. Now, one thing that I love about this living room is the coffered ceilings. So I absolutely think that it is gorgeous the way that they did the ceilings in here and the ceiling fan in the middle. And then you have your breakfast area over there and we'll get to that in just a second. But that is overlooking that beautiful porch and like I said, we'll get to that in just a second. We'll go outside. But gosh, look at that view. Okay. And this is just on our lot, guys. <laughs> so this is just looking back at our kitchen here. We have three um, LED can lights there. And we do have space here if you wanted to put a couple bar stools. But this kitchen is absolutely massive. You have a ton of cabinet space in here. Like a ton. You have beautiful backsplash. Um, you have a European range hood. You do have a built-in stove and you're like, oh my God, where's the oven? I'll get to that in just a second. We have this frosted glass cabinets that are really, really nice, really deep. They are also soft close. As you can see, they are very soft close because they are not closing. <laughs> very soft close. Um, you do have an area here where you can put your coffee maker and hide it away and then put it, you know, pull it out in the mornings. There is a plug in that one. That's what we call our hidden countertop. Then you also have tons of storage here. I love how they did a few different cabinets with the frosted glass and then some with the regular. It absolutely is gorgeous. Down here, let me get this straight. Down here, you have like an extra space. Oh, got really dark. <laughs> the uh, extra space down there is there is a ton of it. You have a lot, a lot of drawers in here. You have one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 16, 17, 18 drawers. <laughs> you have got a ton of drawers. So this is kind of what the kitchen looks like. That's kind of like an island slash peninsula, but it's built in as well. And uh, you do have, like I said, the stove here. You have a place to put your pots and pans. They're really deep uh, uh, drawers there. One thing I like about this manufacturer is they do dovetail edges on their cabinets. That's stuff you found in half a million dollar houses, guys. And this house is well below that. Um, so here's a quick look at the floor plan. Let's take a look at this real quick. They've got this in here. So this one is, it has, this is what we're standing right here in the kitchen. You have the box here, then you have all this back here. So it's not your typical modular, but I will also, like I said at the beginning of the video, I will also um, put that as an actual graphic. Now here is your refrigerator stove microwave area. So it's kind of in the same kitchen, but this kitchen just keeps on going, it's massive. So, you know, it takes, takes up a lot of space. So you have a lot of room for cooking. So you have this beautiful Whirlpool appliances, built-in microwave, and you have cabinets above and below. So just tons and tons of space. So next thing I wanna go over is our little breakfast nook area. I really love this. We have a built-in wine bar. So you have space to put your wine, you have space to put other, uh, you know, mixed cocktails, whatever you want to do. Um, and then here's the good thing. You can hide it all away and you can have just a beautiful bookshelf here. So you have cabinets over there and a storage there and you can kind of hide your bar away if you wanted to, or you could have it fully out for display. Totally up to you, whichever way you want to do it. Totally up to you. Uh, one thing is too that I like about this is they did spend some time on the flooring and in the ceiling. We have a, the kind of in, uh, indented ceiling there, a uh, tray ceiling with some wood beams in it. Absolutely gorgeous. And you have plenty of space here um, that is for your like little breakfast nook, just your casual everyday eating. Then look out over here. Wow. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this porch. Uh, this is a fairly decent size. You could easily fit a grill and a table and chairs out here, or, you know, just, you know, a grill, or just a place to sit and chill and relax, drink your sweet tea, do whatever you want to do. Um, this is perfect for Eastern North Carolina. Everybody loves to be outside, especially during this time of the year. Um, the spring is here, summer's fixing to be here, so, Outside it is, and this ceiling with all of the LED, I don't know if you can see out here, the sun might be kind of blocking it, but you see here and here, there's LED lights. So you already have lighting built into the porch out here. Um, it's just a really cool place to hang out. So I love this feature of this house. we got electricity out here already. we got outside light, gorgeous. <clears throat> so let's go take a look at one of the first bedrooms. Now. This would be kind of like tucked to itself, um, either the older child or, you know, you have guests over. This would be like the kind of the guest wing or if you have mother-in-law, mother-in-law suite, whatever. So they actually kind of have their own little space here. Um, we'll go into the bedroom first, then we'll check out the bathroom. So good size bedroom here. Now the good thing about Arnell is they put two by sixes on the outside of their home. So very, very well insulated. We are on a busy highway and you barely can hear it in here. So gorgeous, gorgeous fixtures. And also we have really, really good functionality in here as well. Beautiful baseboards. You also have nine foot high ceilings uh, that are smooth. So this really looks like a custom built house. Um, I'm gonna take a look into the closet here. So good size closet for a guest bedroom. Definitely works and definitely would be, uh, you know, definitely worth it. So this is the little box that's on the front of the home. Um, this would kind of makes it look not like a modular, so it's really nice. This is the second, uh, one, first of three bathrooms. So this house actually has three bathrooms. We really don't have a lot of homes or floor plans that have that, and this house does. So you have your one-piece fiberglass 
shower and tub combo, which kind of comes standard with this manufacturer. And they also do tiles on the outside. Um, I really like when manufacturers do that because it kind of helps with mold mildew issues. Um, it, there shouldn't be any in the first place, but if the water does get spilled onto that wood, um, then that is something you don't have to worry about because this manufacturer, it has tile. So very, very nice. Something to look for. So now that we've done the mother-in-law suite in the wing, oh, I don't know if I showed you, but this one does have a dishwasher and we have this beautiful um chef's sink right here it detaches and everything very nice and then we also have a place here oh kind of hide your cleaning tools brushes stuff like that it's not a full drawer but it works and excuse me my stuffiness my allergies are killing me so we'll get up there in just a second and see the upstairs um but this is the second bathroom and a bedroom, and this one actually has a bathroom in the bedroom. So maybe this would be your guest suite. Who knows? Or maybe this would be the oldest child, right off the kitchen, but you're right by the master. So it just depends on what your uses are for it. Good size closet. Oh Lord, I just knocked y'all over. <laughs> knocked y'all over the place. Um, good closet there. You have a really nice bathroom attached. You have your one piece fiberglass in here as well. And you have a window above it and you have the towel around the tub and shower, and you have your porcelain sink, that's me, what's up? Um, and you have faucets there as well. So let's go take a look at the laundry room. And yes, it's a separate room in this house, and I'm gonna try to brighten up this screen a little bit because it be dark in here. Um, this is a beautiful laundry room. Uh, you have your sink really really deep sink there you have a ton of cabinets that are soft closed as well in here and you also have uh your space for your washer and dryer there and i think you have the hot water heater here oh no just the closet and i think your hot water heater is here yep so very easy access to your hot water heater some people really like that i do um, it makes it really nice i love those banister coming down that they finished that off with. I love an open staircase. Then we're going into the master. So this one is massive as it should be. Uh, nine foot ceilings, of course, we have nine foot ceilings throughout in this house. Two by six sidewalls, double paned windows. Um, the blinds come with the house. It, beautiful, beautiful house. Then we come into this bathroom and it is crazy. So we have beautiful dual vanity sinks. We have, sorry, the glare from the windows is kind of, ooh, getting to me. So we have beautiful double vanity sinks. You have this little uh, nook in the middle kind of for storage or decorations. You do have a linen closet there. You do have a window. And this tile right here is absolutely gorgeous. I love the inset uh, with the mosaics right there. And then you do have um, your soap dish there. You have two shower heads, one right there, and then one above, look right here, yep. One above, right there, Amazon rain head, and you do have two LEDs so you can really see how to wash everything. <laughs> massive, massive, massive walk-in closet for the master. Uh, we've got a lot of construction material in here, but gosh, it keeps going, I didn't even realize it went over here. So it went over there, and we do have space over here. So a lot of construction material, uh, just kind of extra that they don't need until they get to the property. So we don't use it until then. Now, um, the last thing in this house is the upstairs and it is absolutely massive. So let me go up here. So let's go take a look upstairs. Now, of course, these will be carpeted whenever you get your home. Um, so don't look at that. <laughs> wow. You can make another house up here. Um, this is where you put the kids. <laughs> uh, a lot of natural light coming in because you have all those dormers, but it runs the entire length of the home. So crazy how bright and airy it is up here. Um, fun fact, we use this same, uh, random note, if you follow me a little bit more, you know I have a business that sells barns. Um, and we have a building, we have buildings that have this same tech shield in it. And we're selling barns, 
and they're selling quarter million dollar houses. So just want to throw that out there. <laughs> really, really good material. Um, we have uh, Tech Shield, which just to let you know a little bit about Tech Shield is it actually curves the temperature naturally by about 30 degrees. So when you're typically in your attic, it is like screaming hot if you leave it like this during the summer. But it's actually pretty like an 85 degree day and it's actually comfortable in here because of the tech shield. So just wanna throw that out there. You have a beautiful window right there. Again, you have a ton of space. You can make a game room, family room, whatever you wanna do. You can add a bathroom up here. We add the piping, uh, I have to find it. Oh, there it is. So if you look right here, we already piped the upstairs for you. So it's very easy to get to if you ever wanted to do that down the road. So you could easily um, add a bathroom up here without having to try to find the main pipe and everything. We can actually build a fourth bedroom up here really easily. So this could either be your whole master suite if you really wanted to, or you could throw the kids up here, whatever you want to do. Um, but you have enough room to frame this out and make this a bedroom. And you also have a huge view. I love looking from upstairs at a second story window. So double pane windows there. And this is looking back, of course, if you frame that out, I guess this space would be kind of uh, extra storage. And, you know, that way you can have some extra storage. Going over here, like I said, just crazy how massive this upstairs is. So, um, another window there. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, I'm going to take it back downstairs. And let's go over final details on this house final details of this home this is an absolutely gorgeous rnl uh elite modular home i actually think it's called yep rock ridge elite three so i just wanted to kind of share the full name for this um in case you're not in our areas um but of course we have we are down east homes we have six locations uh kenston newburn elizabeth city moorhead city uh greenville and beulahville so we have tons of locations we service all of Eastern North Carolina. So if you want this home, it is displayed in our Newburn location um, and it is absolutely perfect, uh, especially for a family, a good sized family. This is the house for you because you have so much opportunity above like you just saw in the attic to really add on either down the road or immediately. We can also facilitate, facilitate that for you. We can finish out the upstairs if you'd like. Of course, I don't have any pricing on that because materials are crazy and you'd have to see your sales rep at your local down east to get all the pricing on that. But uh, as you see downstairs, uh, you know, unfinished upstairs, downstairs finished, um, you know, well, I'll say downstairs like you see it um, with all the options. Uh, we have gone through a crazy time where housing prices have just skyrocketed and gone through the roof, um, but we are still cheaper than stick built homes. So just keep that in mind. This house is a three box, huge modular, three bedroom, three bath downstairs, uh, and a ton of potential for upstairs. This house, without any land, any improvements or anything, um, you're looking somewhere in the, I think he said, uh, what was it? 275 range. And then you have to add in the in inclusions and everything like that, land, stuff like that. And of course, guys, I put this disclaimer in here. By the time you see this video and come see this house, prices might have gone up. Prices might have gone up another 10, 15%. Who knows? Um, we, we never know when they're going to have to go up because of lumber, lumber and wood. Everything right now is just a crazy, crazy time. So don't fuss out your salespeople if you don't get that exact price as a base price. Um, you're looking 275 to 280, somewhere right around in there. But guys, make sure, I cannot stress this enough, make sure you talk to your sales rep before you go off of any of my prices because I just give you a base price. I don't give you anything added on. I don't give you anything fancy. I don't give you land, none of that. There is a lot that goes into construction. There is a lot that goes into putting these homes together. Even though they look almost finished when they arrive on your lot, there's still a lot to kind of go over. So please keep that in mind. Please don't fuss out your sales reps when they give you a higher price because I 129% guarantee it's going to be higher than anything I say. 
just because I did not add in everything that you need to get completed and pass inspections and live in the actual home. So keep that in mind. I just have to put that disclaimer in there, but that's what we're going for on this house as a starting price. And I really, really appreciate you guys uh, watching these videos and, and taking the time out of your schedule to watch those. We, we cannot thank you enough. Again, please like, share with your friends, subscribe, hit that big red subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a brand new video. And also, if you watched the last couple videos, I have started my own business, but I'm still in partnership with Down East doing the YouTube channel. So if you want to follow a little bit about me and about my business, please click the link below. And we would, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, we're going to try to keep these things up and going and these videos up and going. Um, and I appreciate Down East for letting me do that. And we really appreciate you guys for following along. So thank you, and we'll see you next time.